is going on? My head is killing me. God, I feel like throwing up. Keep it together, David. Breathe. Okay, I just need a glass of water and some painkillers. I just need to open my eyes and get out of bed and... What the hell? Jesus Christ! It wasn't a dream. What is this? Where, where am I? Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Who are these people? Right. I think I know them. But they're all sleeping on a pile on the ground and I'm the first one to wake up. Who put us here? What even is this place? God, it's freezing. Cold. Hard. Metal feels like a, the freezer of a morgue. Even standing up is difficult. Legs cramped. Ugh, still dizzy. But I need to figure out where I am and how to get out of here. Look, it seems impossible. Wide room. Bigger than a small apartment. Zero furniture. The floor, walls and ceiling. It's the same pattern of these metallic panels. It looks like a door on one of those walls, but I can't figure out a way to open it. Listen. I uh, can't hear anything. Wait. Wait, there's a, there's a ventilation system on the ceiling, but it's impossible to reach. It's over ten feet, it looks like. One thing's for sure, though. <laughs> the air is cleaner than I remember ever breathing on our sad, rotten little earth. Is this some kind of trick? Something played on me by one of these people unconscious on the ground. 24 hours ago. Do you hear that, miss? I have more important things to do than wait for your boss. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd call him my boss, sir. The world is in shambles. Nobody really needs the last specimen of what was the billionaire's race. Well, I mean, uh, don't tell him I said that. Oh, I shouldn't have... See, he's only my friend, and I... Get to the point, young lady. Um, well, my name is Rachel, and... David, hello. Hey, how are you? How have you been? Hold on, let me take this off. Annoying, stupid thing. You're lucky to have that kind of mask, you know. <laughs> it's probably the last of its kind. The reports tell us that the contaminated air is the number one killer at the moment. Even worse than the rebels, if you can believe it. There's at least one dead body in every corner of this town. To think that we're supposed to be the lucky ones. The survivors. Shut up, man. You don't have to tell me how screwed up we are, okay? I know it. I, I know this is hell. We're doomed, there's no God, no hope, and nobody's coming to help. I know. That's why I want to leave, but I need your help. You're the closest thing this sorry excuse of a town has for a figure of power. This again. I told you, Jackson. The last of the spaceships departed Earth months ago. There's nothing left. No way to leave this dying husk of a planet. So I suggest you either learn to live more humbly and share the last of your meaningless fortune with the poor souls around you, or do like them that didn't see the point of living. And... <laughs> uh, there's no need to get so dramatic. You and I, David, we're not so different. Don't you remember? All political leaders fled the planet, left you behind to handle this sad survivor's camp. My family bought an entire spaceship, left me here behind. You want to save these fools that look up to you, and I don't want to be like my family. They're getting impatient. They need a leader, a savior. Don't you want to be a hero? What do you have? A prototype. It passes safety protocols, but it just wasn't profitable at the moment. It's collecting dust in an abandoned hangar. It only needs a pilot, and passengers to take away from here and towards a safe place. Freedom. A life. Everything I... everything we... all want. Right? 
back in the present in the mysterious room. What the fuck? What is this? Where am I? What did you do to me? Hey, calm down, man. Don't put your hands on me. You got 10 seconds to tell me what exactly is going on, or I'll make sure you don't get to speak a word ever again. Let me go! Don't you get it? I'm as lost as you are. One moment we're all standing there and then... Chad, I don't know, man. We all woke up here. Here? Huh. And what exactly is here, city boy? What the hell is this freezing uh, shoebox? Excuse me. What's going on? <gasps> What's this? Where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jackson? What? Jackson! Rachel! What's happening? What's wrong? I can't... I can't... What? Rachel? Oh, oh my god. Hey, hey, calm down. Look at me. Look at me. I'm here with you. You're okay. Come on, babe. Breathe. Don't. Do not call me babe. Sorry, I didn't mean... Where are we? What's he doing? He found the door. He must think he can kick his way out here. David? Where are we? What is this? Can everyone please stop asking the same stupid questions? We don't know. We just have to get out. Why? What happened? Are we in danger? My family. Where's my family? Are they in here? Listen, has anyone seen my family? I need to be with them. I have an entire community that depends on me. So, are you going to help me escape this place or not? Sure. Uh, I can try. Is she okay? Ma'am, hello? Let her be, miss. We need to focus on finding a way out of here. Okay, and then what, huh? We don't even know who kidnapped us. Don't we need weapons? We need to come up with a plan. Hey, is anyone listening? Hello? Can anybody hear us? Stephanie, kids, darling, are you there? Please, someone help us. Aren't you going to help them? Babe, I'm thinking of a plan here. Why don't you go make sure that woman isn't dead? One year ago. Rachel, are you okay? Hey, it's okay. I'm here. I'm so sorry. I know it's awful what happened. It just doesn't seem fair, you know. My dad lived long enough to see every bit of the final downfall of this stupid planet. He survived wars. He escaped cities on fire. He survived hunger, thirst, and every disease that was waiting out there for him with sharp fangs. And he dies like this. Some rebel with a knife that wanted to take his mask and his clothes off his back. It's tragic. It's absurd. The world is ending, Jack. Everything is on fire, contaminated or collapsing under its own weight. And still, we find the time and energy to kill each other? Is it, is it that easy to turn into a monster? It's called being desperate. I I'm not saying it's right, but at this point, I'd do anything to keep myself alive. Oh, and to protect you too. You're the last friend I have, Jackson. Everyone else is dead. But I don't want that. To become desperate monsters. I just want to live. Then could you at least move in with me? I still have the bunker and more than enough supplies for both of us. I promise, I'll save you, babe. I'm not sure you get it, but all right. Back in the present. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, why the hell am I in a spaceship? Oh my god, you're alive! Hey, ma'am, can you hear me? Uh, yes, and uh, you're a nice vision to wake up to, but uh, can you tell me what the fuck is going on? Um, thanks. I... no one really knows, but did you say spaceship? I did, yes. Um, I... I worked as a pilot my entire life. Uh, I recognize the smell of the air on these things. Uh, I've never, never seen this kind of surface though. Here, help, help me get up. Oh, fuck. Oh, there, <laughs> there you have it. Oh God, hip injury. Oh, the only reason that kept me from piloting the last ship that escaped the planet. Not tragic at all, is it? Are you okay? Diane, you're awake. How are you feeling? What do you think? I'm fucking awful. David, David, please tell me your last attempt at sustaining a government paid off and you got us into this weird spaceship against our will. 
I don't even want to think of other options. I'm sorry, what? A spaceship? Hey, 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 hey. What the hell are you guys talking about over there? Who is this woman again? Uh, guys? Hey, everyone, I, uh... I think there's something coming. My God! Oh hell no! You won't catch me alive, you ugly ass motherfuckers! Look, we killed one. Gross! I think I'm a strong one. Just shut the fuck up and try to help them. They're too strong. Grab one of the fallen weapons. Rachel, don't. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> no, no, I got this. Thanks. David! There are too many. Well, I'm not giving up. God, for fuck, no! Three months ago. Shh. Shh, it's okay. Please don't cry. Look, if you cry... Your mom will cry, and that will make me cry. You want to see your old dad crying? Come on, I look so ugly when I cry, kids. Please. Now, that's better. Kids, I need to stay here with your mom, okay? Be very quiet. Stay still. And no matter what you see or hear, don't move. Don't make a noise. Never under any circumstances take off your masks, okay? I'll come back in a minute. I promise. Alright, here I go. That one up there is the last house for a good stretch of land. Please. God, let it be empty. We're running out of supplies. The kids have started to cough. We desperately need shelter and- ah! You have five seconds to get out of my property. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Four seconds? Please. We're desperate. I have a wife and two kids with me. Three. God. Please, I'm begging you. We're going to die out here. Two. Please, just one night. God damn it, just let the kids drink a glass of water, please. One night. That's it. Fuck, why did I do that? I said no more guests. They always lie, cheat, betray, steal. And I fucking die in my arms. What the fucking hell am I thinking? I really can't let them stay one more than a night. Um, what one week at most? Fuck, I don't care if he has children. I really fucking don't. I think, god damn it, I think I'm fucked. Back into spaceship. Stephanie? Stephanie, are you okay? Who's Stephanie? You can talk. Get away from me, let me go. What are you? Hey! Hey! Over here! Oh. Oh shit, it's you. I thought one of those things was talking to me. Are we in the laboratory, it seems? You were just dreaming. We're all starting to wake up. If those things understand us, <laughs> they don't want to talk. One of them just stares at the screens beside our beds. Two of them stand by the door. Look at them. Like giant, slimy insects. I'm going to crush them one by one. Now please, don't do anything rash. Don't tell me what to do, city boy. <sighs> God. We're all going to die. Come on, Rachel, calm down. Freaking out won't help us. Is she okay? Why is she still sleeping? Well, she was drunk when we met her. I doubt that alien anesthesia is the only drug in her system. Hey, don't be rude. A little bit of respect, please. She's had a rough time. We all have. Anyone still alive has been going through a hell worse than dying. Wait, now hold on a minute. Did you say alien? Are we sure that's what we're dealing with? I don't know, man. Maybe these screeching seven feet tall monsters are completely normal things. Diane did mention we're on a spaceship. Yeah, I fucking did. Thanks for listening. Now, can we please come up with a plan? A plan? Oh, I have a plan, all right. Kill each and every one of these motherfuckers before they kill us. Oh, yeah? And how do you plan to do that, tough guy? They already knocked you out once. Listen here, shithead. I'll kill you too if I have to. 
So, don't get in my way, understood? Jesus Christ, you really are like children. Okay, but suppose we can fight these creatures. Then what? Well, seems to me we'd have a spaceship all to ourselves. And, likeable or not, we do have a pilot among us. <laughs> don't even think about it. Why not? You could be our savior. I uh, appreciate your faith in me, sweetheart, but my savior days are over. I fucked up my only chance. I didn't get to pilot a regular ship. What makes you think I could fucking figure out an alien one? Because you're our only hope. Because I, we need to survive. Fuck, I really, really want to live. I, I don't know. Hold on. Now what? We have a spaceship. We have a pilot. We have a chance that we thought we'd never have. But maybe this isn't about us. Have any of you stopped to think about the people we've left on Earth? I don't know about the rest of you, if you have someone, anyone. But I have a family, and I will do anything in my power to get back to them. Even if only to die beside them. But now, what if I have a chance at saving them? What if we could drive this ship back to Earth and save as many people as we could? I mean, we don't know how large this thing is, but just the two rooms we've seen would be enough to hold a few dozen people, don't you think? Fuck yeah. Wait, really? No offense, but I don't give a shit about any of you. You closed the doors of your big houses, you hoarded your resources, you claimed to be civilized just to be selfish. You forgot about everyone but yourselves. And you cursed and attacked those of us that did whatever desperate thing we had to do to survive. You don't know what it is to kill feral animals with your own hands, climb out of the rubble of fallen houses, the taste of decay and human flesh in your mouth, and have brothers and sisters die in your arms? But I do. I have my own messed up family down there on Earth. They depend on me to survive. They were waiting for my instructions. I never promised something better, but I swore I would fight by their side until I die. I'm going back for them, for my people, and for this random guy's family. You can join us, or you can be the first ones to die. I'm not dying. None of us is dying. I know I haven't always made the right choices. Nobody makes it to the end of the world alive without a few sins in their past. But I took responsibility, and I accepted the role of provisional leader to help the people around me. There are so few of us left, but we have a community, and they deserve a chance as much as any of us. I'm going back. We all are. Is, is everyone serious right now? What do you mean? We are literally pinned down on lab tables, and you guys are planning to what? To save humanity? Look at those monsters! They could snap us in half if they wanted to. Don't they look hungry? Thirsty? Evil? What do you think we're here for? They're going to open us up, and they're going to feast on our organs. They're going to make us watch. They're going to cut us into tiny little pieces and figure out what we're made of. And, and then they're going to discard us into the freezing cold, infinitely lonely space like absolute trash. Jackson, stop. Stop! No! Rachel, we don't stand a chance. Even if we did, our best bet is getting as far away from Earth as possible. Not to return. We, we finally have a chance at survival, and, and these people want to waste it in some noble cause. Are you desperate for salvation? Weren't you desperate enough for a purpose to follow me around like a lost puppy? You wanted a life, Rachel. You don't want to be a hero. Shut up! What could our life and a fortune if you're just going to end up alone anyway? I'm not going to be like you, Jackson. I'm with them. Hey guys, I hate to interrupt, but I think one of them is leaving. Okay, there's just one of them guarding the door against six of us. This is our chance to make the first move. What do you say, Diane? I think you can figure out a way to pilot this ship. Only you can do it. No, it's fucking impossible. But you know what? I'm ready to fucking die trying for it. Uh, 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 uh,
He's free. I'll deal with the big cockroach guard. Free yourselves and find a way to lock this door. Now! 12 hours ago. Okay, team. Everyone still with me? Yes. Good. Okay. I need you to listen to me. And listen carefully, because this is a big one. Understood? We're the last honest predators in the world. In the remnants of the cities, they call us rebels, officially. But we know what they really think. They shunned us and they exiled us. They disapprove of our methods of survival. They look down on us and believe they are superior just for what they think is staying civilized. Well, they don't care about our lives. We don't care about their rules. If there's an earthquake, we crawl up from the ruins. Feral animals try to take over the cities and we slit their throats and wear their furs. We don't take sides in any war. We take advantage of the chaos. We kill what we have to, steal what we want, eat what we can, and survive in any way possible. Sir, yes sir! Well, time to get some supplies. Do you guys see that big house behind me? I've been there before. It's just one woman, and I think she's injured. So, <laughs> piece of cake. Let me take care of her. Then, we can go in and take shelter for a while. Even outcasts like us deserve a roof over our heads. All right, wait for my signal, okay? Now, come on, lady. Don't give me any trouble. All right. Everything's quiet. Just two lights are on. Oh, wait. Fuck. She's turning on more lights. Is she not alone? Never mind. I can handle this. I'll take them down one by one, as I've done before. Ah, oh, shit. Children. That wasn't part of the plan. Right. Okay. I can... Kids! Come back inside. It's not safe. Oh, no. Uh, excuse me. Who... Hey. Is everything all right over here? Hey! Who the fuck are you? Okay, listen up, shitheads. Don't do anything stupid, and maybe I'll let you live. I don't fucking think so, asshole. Now, why don't you take a step back and explain why you are on my property? Make the wrong move, and I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah? You and how many? Guys, what's going on out here? Rachel, step back. Okay, let's all calm down. Honey? Take the kids inside. No matter what you hear, stay inside. Okay? Now you have ten fucking seconds to run away from here as fast as you can, or I'll shoot your dick off first before I aim for your head. Understood? Ah, oh, please. I'm not scared of you, sweetheart. I can take down all of you if I want to. Ten. Nine. Eight. Now, nobody seven, has to shoot. Jackson, six, look! We can solve this five, by a civilized four, manner. Sky? Not Three, now, Rachel. Two... What is it with a sudden cold? What's going on? Whoa! What the hell? What's this light? What's going on? What are you doing? Back in the spaceship. Good job. Thanks. Uh, no hard feelings about... What? Attempting to take over my house? Threatening to kill me and my friends? No. It's all good. I figure we're more useful to each other alive right now, right? Fuck. You're like a feral dog. But you strike me as loyal. And do we have any other option but to trust each other? Right. Can you figure this out? Careful, lady! Oh shit, sorry. Well, um, it's certainly more powerful than any other taser I've seen. But the basics are the same. I trust it can take one of those monster fucks down, but, uh, we're going to need more than this. How are things going with the door? Good. It's not good! We can pile as much junk as we want in front of the door. It's not gonna stop them from barging in and eating us alive. Hey, this makeshift barrier can buy us precious seconds of life. This can make the difference between life and death. We need to try everything we can. I'm going to go back to my family. Whatever. Any luck figuring out their language? Obviously not. It's impossible to understand these signs. But luckily, it's a very descriptive interface on the screen. Everything has pictures. Us. The tests they were going to do. And there's a map we're trying to memorize. This should block the door. I think. They could probably open it themselves from outside, but 
and something. They don't have fingertips. You basically have to punch the screen to equal the strength of their claws. Wait, uh, Rachel, you said something about the test they were going to do to us? Yes, take a look. These are pictures of... well, they look like torch devices to me. It's disturbing. You're fucking shaking. Come here. G Jesus Christ, is, is that like a... Uh, a chainsaw? I didn't know you could combine a mallet and a scythe. What kind of tests were they going to make? Turn us into a pulp and put us into test tubes? Stop acting like babies and focus. These aren't just toys. These can be weapons. If we can find them, we might stand a chance against. Oh no, you're not getting in. Quick, let's find those weapons. They aren't here. We moved every table in the room. Could it be under a secret door or something? Try every button. I'm trying! Come on, Rachel. You've got this. Got it! Where did that come from? Who cares? It's a lot of weapons. Take a pick and fight for your lives. Now! They're almost through the barricade. Get ready. Remember, they're just disgusting giant bugs. Nothing to be scared about. Fuck! There's plenty to be scared about! Here comes the first one! I got it! That was a good one. Watch your back. We got this! Keep it up! Push forward! Let's get through the hallway! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Subscribe for part two. Sixteen hours ago. Well, this is it. Diane Welch's farm, or what's left of it. It's still much better than anything I've ever seen in years. It looks almost alive, unlike the rest of the planet. I could have imagined myself living somewhere just like this. You could almost hear birds singing in the distance. All birds are dead, babe. They roasted on the burning skies, fell to pieces in toxic water, attacked the little children, and then ate them in retaliation. Don't get sentimental. We're here for an escape mission, not to make friends in a cozy country house. Focus. All right. She's an old friend. I think very highly of her. Please, be on your best behavior. Is she going to be on her best behavior though? I heard she went cuckoo after her accident. And I heard that you're so fucking annoying that your rich parents left you behind to be all home alone in an apocalyptic world. <laughs> Am I wrong? We started on the right foot? Huh? I'm, I'm losing my patience here. David, I, I talked to you about a very secret project, and you've brought me to another damn survivor's camp. Hey, careful. These people are my family now. If you want a pilot, you'll have to take all of us. I thought you wanted us to leave. Uh, shut up. Come on, Jackson. Be reasonable. I know it's your ship, but we have an obligation to save as many people as possible. I have a responsibility. I shouldn't even, but... I mean... Anyway, there is space, Jack. I don't think any of you understand the gravity of the situation. Listen, I want each and every one of you to listen to me very carefully. Do you want to believe that I consider myself better than all of you? Fine, I sure as hell do. But like it or not, if we are still alive on this earth at this moment, we have a lot in common. None of you could look me in the eyes and tell me you haven't escaped a natural disaster of biblical proportions. The earth shaking for long, long minutes until you're sure it's never going to stop. The rain melting through the rooftops, the walls, the concrete, and people's eyes. Or you haven't seen animals die or kill in completely unnatural ways. A blinded pack of wolves through the city. Crows that caught fire slamming through the windows. Cats and dogs puking acid that burns through the clothes. I would bet everything I have that you all have lost someone that you love dearly. 
and your grief is a ghostly beast. I would have to venture into saying that most of you have had to kill to stay alive this long. Am I wrong? We get it. We're doomed. But isn't that all the more reason to try to help others? It only means we have to save ourselves as quickly as possible, no matter the price. <clears throat> you know what? I... I don't care. You want to be selfish monsters, fine by me. Just go away quickly. I have a family to take care of, so if you'll excuse me, my kids are in the backyard and I heard a strange noise, so... Hmm. A strange noise? I don't like that. Let me get my gun. Okay. Let's take it easy. There's nothing outside. What's the worst that could happen? Back in the spaceship. Well, that was fun. Look at all the slimy aliens we killed. I could go for another round! Hey, man. You're bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> Here, take my jacket. Wrap it around the wound on your arm. Man, it looks like one of those fucking things bit you. Ah, uh, don't give me that look and accept the damn jacket. Look, you're no use to us if you bleed yourself to death, right? Okay. And what now? We have no time to lose. We don't know how many of those things are in the ship, so I don't think we can plan to kill them all off one by one as some of us want. We have to reach the pilot's cabin alive, set course back to Earth, and try not to die in the process. Everyone in agreement? Mm-hmm. Yep. Good as mm -hmm. planned as any. Yep. According to the map we found in the lab, the ship is kind of oval-shaped. We must have woken up in a storage room at the back. Now we're closer to the middle. If we take this hallway, eventually we have to reach the front of the ship where the pilot should be. Is no one gonna suggest hiding and hoping for the best? Try to earn the alien's trust so there's no need to fight? Oh, I know, better yet, let's kill ourselves before they have a chance to do it. Come on! I'm exhausted, and my hands are stained with this greenish blood, and I want to puke, and- Shut the fu- Jesus Christ, shut up. I really want you to never speak again. But also, there's something wrong. I hear it too. It's barely there, though. Like- like an echo, fluttering. It's as if a moth had crawled inside your ear and was moving around in your brain. It's getting closer. Everyone, grab a weapon. This thing has a heartbeat. I think the fucking devil's coming for us. You wanted to scare me. Fine, I'm scared. What's going on? That can't be good. Guys, the floor is shaking. It feels like the walls are closing in. Do they have an army coming for us? Worse. It's much worse than that. Eight months ago. Hey. I just wanted to properly say goodbye. Before you left. Yeah, that was a nice speech from you. Thanks for coming. It means a lot to these people, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, I wish. There's hardly any need for any kind of government in a world that has its days numbered. Yeah, you're wrong. I meant what I said. You are a sign of hope for these people. Hope, after all, is the only thing that keeps any of us going. You only say that because you're full of hope yourself. <sighs> Look at that dazzling smile of yours. Full of life. No. These people look to me for hope. Because they think I can fix their lives. But I can't. You, on the other hand, you're a hero. Aren't you scared? Yeah, I have piloted planes my entire life, old friend. I've moved on to spaceships by now. In no time you'll see me piloting the next ship away from this cursed planet. <laughs> Taking this one plane to and from a safe location will be a piece of cake. Mayday. Mayday. C can anyone hear me? May Mayday. Mayday. Please. Someone. Is anybody there? God damn it. I'm begging you, please. So somebody. Is anyone listening? There has to be a living soul out there that's listening. <sighs> please. <sighs> please. <sighs> God.
god. Uh, an angel? Please, um, give me a miracle here. Please, please, listen to me. Don't let me die here. I don't want to die here. There's so much to do. God damn it, I want to help. I want to save these people. This can't end here. God, f fuck the devil. Anyone listening, please don't let us go. What are you doing here? I... I wanted to see you. I needed to check in on you. I know. I know it was horrible. Diana, I'm so sorry. The nurse has told me you've been blaming yourself. <laughs> Who the fuck else am I going to blame? I was piloting the plane. Now all those people are dead, dying, hardly recovering. Fuck it. I ruined my own life, too. The spaceship? Yeah, that's leaving tomorrow. Fuck, I should have died in that plane. I should have died. I should have... <sighs> I was a fool, David. There's no point in fighting a doomed destiny. We're all gonna die on this rotten fucking planet. And fuck, it's time to... It's fucking time we embrace it. Back in the spaceship. Run! Run as fast as you can! Don't think! Just run! Yo! What the hell is that thing? It's just like the others, but the size of an elephant. Hundreds of eyes, deadly claws, dozens of legs sharp as swords piercing through the metal. Jesus Christ! I think that beast is actually drooling for us oozing gray bubbling liquid. Oh my god. Don't let it catch you! Run! I can't. What? I can't run. I can't. What? It hurts. God fucking burns too badly. Oh my god, your injury! Hold on, Diane. Please keep going. I'm sorry. I... No, I'm not letting you. I have an idea. Are you ready? Watch my back. What the hell are you doing? Where does this fucking hallway <clears throat> even lead to? Just trust me. And keep watch for regular sized aliens. They're coming after us. Gladly. Where did those two run off to? I don't know. Should we turn- Look out! Ah! Holy shit, those aliens came out of nowhere. They got Carlos and David. Keep running, keep running! The big one is still after us. Hey. Stop moving. Don't care! Keep running! Jackson, there's something wrong with it. Is it... dying? Choking on something? <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Did that thing just spit at us? What is this gooey shit? Oh, oh my god! I can't move! Oh, no, no. I can't die. Not like this. Stephanie, my kids... No! Two years ago. Jackson! They're gone. They're all fucking gone. I, I can't... I can't... Believe it. They actually left. They left me. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Jack, you're scaring me. Please calm down. No, Rachel. I won't fucking calm down. You know who was on that ship? The last few members of my family. You know who wasn't? Me. They all went away and left me here, knowing I would die. I would starve. I would get killed, eaten, regurgitated, and then burned along with every other worthless and pathetic body left on this totally ruined planet. That ship is a death sentence with my name on it, and all my family participated in it. Great. Now 
I'm the only one who has to deal with him. I have to. He's my only friend. Doesn't mean he's a good friend. Maybe neither of us are. We have nothing in common except being alive and lonely. I'm not brave enough to walk away. He wasn't brave enough to face his family. Someday. Someday I will tell him. I'll look him in the eye and say, Jackson, your family didn't leave you. You made it your life purpose to fight with, lie to, and betray every member of your family until none of them could stand you, and then you demanded apologies that no one gave you. You were too stupid to apologize to yourself, and even then, they still, they still gave you a place, you asshole. Your family offered you a place in their stupid magic spaceships, and you said no. You said you'd rather die, because you're too proud, because you wanted to be difficult, play hard to get, and then you got angry when they actually left without you. <sighs> Jackson, are you okay? No. I think I've lost my mind over this. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to leave this room to act like a remotely decent person again. I'm thinking I want to kill myself right here. Right now. I'm thinking maybe if I killed someone, anyone, you, I would feel better. I could do worse though. I have my family's weapons. I could end everyone's misery. I could end this planet for once and for all. Wouldn't that be a... Uh, Magnificent way to go? I, Jackson Harper, responsible for the ending of the human race. I want... I, I want... I, I want my family. Fuck. Uh, listen, Jack. Calm down, okay? Breathe, I'm here with you. You know there's nothing I want more than to live. We can't do that, right? Come on, there has to be something in your family's fortune that can save us. Come on, Jackson. You have to keep it together a little longer. Can you? Back into spaceship. Rachel, Rachel, hurry up. There's more aliens coming and I don't know if... Oh my God, is that some sort of car? <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm, I could kiss you right now. How did you even know? I told you, they had a very descriptive map. I just need to figure out how it works. I don't have eight legs, but I don't see pedals anyway. Could it just work with the touchpad? Did you just crash our alien car? Don't laugh. It's not easy, okay? I think I got it now. I really hope you do. The aliens are coming. Can you hold that weird alien weapon while I drive? Yes, just drive. Rachel! They fucking jump now? Diane, there are too many of them. They're too evil. I can feel their eyes, cold and soulless, staring at me from every corner of the ship. I can feel them breathing down my neck, like spiders crawling all over my skin. Their dozen legs all over me. Their claws pulling me apart, little bloody pieces. Cracking bone! Splashing blood! Rachel, Rachel, hey. Calm down. I'm here with you. We're going to live, okay? We're gonna make sure of it. I promise. Just drive, Rachel. I have your back. Take us to the pilot's cabin fast. Diane, we're almost there. You're doing a great job. But they keep coming. Oh. Ah! <sighs> yeah, you ran over a few of them yourself. That was nice. Now, we're going to need a distraction. What are you doing? I got it. I know what to do. Get out of the car. This is our distraction. Fucking what? The car. Let's blow this baby up. Let the fire and ruins block the hallway. Hey. Hey, city boy. Are you okay? I was abducted by aliens with six other people and it somehow got worse. We're in a small room locked in a cage while that monster watches over us. <laughs> Look at it, Carlos. A dozen legs, thin and quick. Are those spikes or hair? It's revolting. We've killed a few, but we haven't gotten to see them so closely, so, so calmly. 
Look at its scales. Surprisingly fragile, but no less disturbing for it. I think they're already bleeding from the cracks between their scales. Imagine your entire body constantly bleeding, leaking that roiling, slimy liquid as it drips down like drool. And that smell. God, they're half dead already, I swear. The lifeless corpse of demonic cockroaches. And they captured us. They, they got us. They're going to pierce through our bodies with their antenna and we'll rot just like them. You have to stop. What? You think we stand a chance? Shut up, you ugly fucker. We're talking. Hey, you said so yourself, David. They're surprisingly fragile, and they're dead roaches, not human. There's only one of them, against two of us, and not a lock on the cage. They're underestimating us. Really? Do you want to get out of here, or not? You want to get back to Earth so badly. <laughs> Tell you what, if we get out of this alive, I promise to behave a little better when we get back to Earth. I won't listen to you, or obey you, but... We can work together. Maybe civilization isn't doomed yet. Let's do this. Ah! Ah! <coughs> what? What is this? Where are we? My God, I can't move. I can't. Is this a cocoon? It feels like gelatin, but way stiffer. Why can't I break through? Help! Help! Shut up, idiot! Jackson? Oh, thank God I'm not alone. Might as well be. We're dead, Stuart. Look who's here with us. That sound. It's like something crawling up from the pits of hell. The monster vomited this gooey substance. You fought so hard that it hit you again and... You passed out. It took us in its mouth. That terrible, unsteady darkness. God, I swear there were a million other things moving and agonizing there with us. It was so cold, Stuart. It was so bad, I was glad when it spit us out and got us stuck here on the ceiling. It's a huge room. It's the beast's home, I think, and we're not alone. What? Who? Humans, animals, aliens, ghosts, I don't know. The only thing clear here is that we are that monster's next meal. No. Don't fight it. There's no getting out of hell. Embrace it. What are you talking about? No. I refuse to give up. I said I would go back for my family and I will. Are you with me or not? Don't you want to live? What about Rachel? She doesn't want me in her life. My family didn't want me in theirs. Fuck, I, not even I would want me to be around. Death would be a mercy at this point. I should be grateful. This was at least more interesting than dying on Earth out of sadness and desperation like everyone else. Is this who you really are? Is this how it ends for you? Listen, there's still- Don't you dare talk to me about hope. If I help you escape, will you shut up and leave me here? I couldn't leave you. The monster is walking back and forth from one of the rooms to the other. I've been so lifeless that it didn't even bother with me. One of my arms is free. Falling from here would kill you. But if we fall on the monster and one of us manages to escape... You... Are you serious? Here it comes. Count to ten. Pray that the other victims don't catch you on your way out. Ready? I'm ready. One year ago. I'm sorry, man. You didn't deserve to die. You don't know me. I don't know you. But there's a group of people that depends on me. Good people. They're desperate. But they're my family. And whatever I can steal from you right now might keep us all alive a day or two longer. So, I had to do it. If I meet you in another life, in heaven, or... Most probably in hell. I'll owe you one. I'm sorry. Get away from him! Oh shit! Dad! Oh my god, Dad! Why? How dare you! Come out and show your face! Yeah, I have a 
gun too, motherfucker! Show your face! Oh, shit! Shit, I did it! I, I didn't see he had someone with him. Maybe I shouldn't have. Shit, but I needed to. Ah! Where are you, murderer? Come out and fight me! Kill me too, I don't care! He was the last person I had! He was the last good person in this hell of a planet, for all I care! And you killed him! You killed and robbed him! What are you? An animal? A monster? You beast, come out and face me! How dare you? How dare you do this? As if the world hasn't ruined enough already. Is this how it ends? Turning against each other like this? Not surviving together, but feasting on each other's corpses to make it through? Come out! How dare you! How dare you! Oh, Dad. Back in the spaceship. Why do you think they haven't attacked us yet? I'm guessing they don't have cameras. Or they might have bigger problems than two women staring through the window at their pilot. Well, have you learned enough just watching? Let's fucking hope so. Uh, as you mentioned, it is a very descriptive interface. They seem to have modeled the system after their own image. If you can understand the mechanics of a flying insect, this should be manageable. <laughs> anyone can do it. Not anyone. I think you're here for a reason. Shh. There are footsteps coming. I'm ready. Wait, I think that's David and Carlos and oh my god, they look like a fucking mess. Carlos is almost missing a damn arm. Their eyes look crazy feral. They have more wounds than I can count. They're covered, covered in blood and it's not just theirs. But hey, we've kept our weapons. They captured us. I lost count of how many of these monsters we killed on our way here. Are we ready? Where are the others? I'm afraid they haven't made it yet. What do we do? No need to worry now. Look! Is that Stuart? Did he just fall from the ceiling inside the pilot's cabin? Shit, look, he's gonna kill the pilot. Nice. Rachel, Diane, get in and turn this thing around back to Earth. Piece of cake. Good job, man. Nice. Where's the other one? The rich kid. Uh, hey, um, I'm... I can't, I, I couldn't. He said, No. I'm sorry. There was no other way. No! Are you serious? No, no, not Jackson! Rachel, listen to me. If that was the only thing he could do to help, then he died doing the noblest thing he did in his life. Maybe the only thing. Don't let it go to waste. If he knew he was doomed, then he sacrificed so not all of us would be. Now the three of you get in there, go back to Earth, and live the lives we all fought so hard for you and the rest of humanity to have. Understood? David, well, what do you mean? You're fucking not- What the hell do you think you're doing? All this would have been for nothing if the aliens broke into the cabin and kill us all before we land. You stay here. David and I will guard the door. No questions asked. You guys have families purpose, and passion. Stay generous. Don't abandon my people. Rachel, I owed you one. Now, goodbye. Don't fucking try to stop us! What? Wait, no, no. Don't fucking do this! We can do it together. Should we try to join them? Look, they blocked the door with one of the weapons. I'd say if you wanted to stay awake, don't God, touch uh, it. All right, uh... Oh, I'm tired of people dying. I'm tired of these sick and disgusting fucking aliens and I want to go home. <sighs> okay, don't touch anything and do as I say. We're going back to Earth. Expanding the view of the satellite view. Still in our solar system. Previous stop, Earth. Setting the course now. Hang on. Ah! Temperature rising on the engines. Fuck, I can't read these instructions, but 
but it's so goddamn freezing here inside the cabin. Diana, do something! I think the aliens are starting to get near, and the guys won't be able to fight them if they freeze to death. I'm trying. Increasing the ventilation. Shutting off activity in the back of the ship. We're doubling speed in three, two, one. This is horrible. Are you sure we're at least going back to Earth? Well, can't you see it? Amazing. Look, it's our planet. Damn it. It looks depressing even from here. Yup. Contaminated oceans, entire continents on fire, barren land, and little to no lights. That's home. We're going back to Earth for a suicide mission, but we're saving as many people as we can. We're saving them. But we have to hurry. They can't hold the door much longer, and it's two of them against a small army. <laughs> And we're not gonna make it! We have to. We have to make it. Come on. Increasing power. Activating auxiliary engine. Listen, th th this is impossible to fucking decipher completely just like this. It doesn't make any sense! We might freeze. Fuck, we might start to lose oxygen. Just pray I manage to land this thing safely. We're doubling speed again in three, two, one. Twenty-four hours later. Am I... Am I alive? Oh, everything hurts. Oh, please. God, let me die quickly. Stop dragging this on. And on. Oh, uh, a bird? <laughs> oh, I thought they were all dead. <laughs> oh, it's a nice melody to die to. <sighs> What's this light? A hole? Through the ship? Could it be that we made it back to Earth? <laughs> oh, they're all dead now. This time, they're all going to die. <coughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>